Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing a very special recipe with you, and it's my husband's recipe for French crepes, or as the French say it, les crepes. So to get things started, I'm gonna do this introduction again in French for my French viewers. Bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Bijaya, et aujourd'hui nous allons faire une recette des crepes françaises de mon mari. C'est une recette spéciale et super délicieuse. So the special thing about these crepes are how thin and lacy they are. They have such a beautiful caramelly flavor. And I remember when my husband made them for me for the first time, I was like, whoa, where have you been all my life? Because I've had so many crepes over time, but they've never tasted as good as his. And paired with a little bit of Nutella, some sugar and lemon sprinkled over the top, or some salted caramel, they are just out of this world. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're loving the videos. And of course, if you're looking for the full recipe, all you have to do is click the info box under this video and everything you need is there. Let's go make some crepes. So we're gonna start making our crepe batter and just like with any batter, we have dry ingredients and wet ingredients. So in this bowl, I have a little bit of all-purpose flour and to that, I'm going to add some granulated white sugar as well as a nice pinch of salt. And we're gonna whisk things together until they're nice and incorporated. So next, we're gonna work on our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna crack three large eggs into a bowl. Next, I'm gonna pour in some melted unsalted butter as well as a little bit of vegetable oil. And then we're gonna go in with some whole milk. Now the flavoring for these crepes is rum, so we're gonna go in with a touch of rum as well. And we're gonna whisk everything together until it's nice and combined. So that was easy. Our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients are good to go. And now I'm gonna take my handy dandy whisk and create a little bit of a well in the middle of the dry ingredients. Next, I'm gonna pour in my wet ingredients into that well. And starting from the middle, I'm going to use my whisk to gradually pull in the dry ingredients into the wet. And we're gonna continue whisking until a nice thin batter forms. So my batter is good to go. Take a look at it. It's like the texture of heavy cream, nice and thin. And the thing that I did with my batter is I let it relax for about an hour. That allows all the glutens to sort of regroup. Also, a big tip, if you guys don't want to do this by hand, it is so easy to throw all the ingredients into a blender and give it a whiz until it's nice and smooth. Now we are ready to make our crepes. So I have my little nonstick frying pan here. You'll need one that's about eight inches in diameter and we have it on medium heat. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to grease our pan. So I have a handy dandy little piece of paper towel that I folded here. Just dip it into a touch of butter, not too much, and then swirl it around the pan to prep it. Next, we are going to take a ladle full of our batter. So this is gonna vary depending on the size of your pan, but for something this big, I would say about a third of a cup of batter. Drop it in the middle, love that sizzle and then give it a swirl to coat the pan. Woo-wee, just like that. And then we're gonna let it cook for about, I would say a minute on each side. You'll start to see bubbles form over the top and that is a good indication that it is time to flip your crepe. On the other side, it'll be nice and golden brown. I would say another 30 seconds on the other side and then we're gonna transfer it to a platter. So let's do this again. I'm gonna wipe down my pan with a little bit of butter. We're gonna pour in a ladle full of the crepe batter and we're gonna swirl it around the pan to coat. We're gonna cook it for about 45 seconds to a minute on one side. Flip it over, look, it's nice and golden brown. Cook it for another 30 seconds on the other side and then we're gonna flip it onto a serving tray. And once it's on the platter, I'm just going to scatter a little bit of granulated sugar over the top and that will help prevent the next crepe going on top from sticking. All right, you guys, it is now time to taste. I've made two for myself, one with sugar and lemon and the other with Nutella. We're gonna start off light. You know, the one with lemon? Okay, here it goes. Mm, so good, mmm. 
nice and light and citrusy. Now let's move on to Nutella. Mm, the most indulgent one. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Both of these crepe combinations are incredible. The crepe themselves are so thin and lacy, and they have that caramelized flavor to them because of the sugar that's added into the batter. You guys, you can go crazy with these crepes. You saw these combinations that I've done today, but you can also do salted caramel, you could do chestnut paste, you can do so many different things, whipped cream, ice cream, but use this crepe batter as your base, and trust me, your friends and family are going to love you for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big ol' thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a question, comment, concern, or request, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.